Hello everyone, my name is Kanak Shila and today I'm going to talk about uh, qualities and competencies of a great product leader. I work at Facebook and I carry 15 years of experience in product management uh, where I work with corporates like uh, Microsoft and HP. I also worked at startup and founded my own couple of companies. Um, Today, I would be providing insight from the hiring manager perspective that how uh, we strategize the uh, interview and what we look forward when we try to add a strong product leader in our team. So with that, let's get started. Let me share my screen here. Okay, I already provided my intro. And the agenda for today, as I mentioned, what we look for in a strong product leader, what is our hiring strategy, how do we screen candidate against the criteria, and how one could differentiate himself. So regarding hiring strategy, my advice to hiring managers would be to carry a vision to hire for long-term companies fit well than filling just a short-term requirement or right. And the right way to do that is to ask, what does your team want? And normally what I do, I try to conduct a whiteboard exercise with my team members, where we list down um, essential competencies, skills, and qualities that we look forward. Um, PM do best when the existing team members want them there. And that's the foundation to establish someone for longer term success. I would also suggest that not to leave the interview metrics convoluted or open-ended and better to formalize that. Uh, that way we as a team could make more data-driven decisions. Now, uh, normally we try to uh, divide the criteria into three categories. Uh, the qualities, the competencies, and the required skills. Qualities are part of personality and it's hard to teach. Like uh, how would you teach customer obsession or product intuition? Um, and it could further be divided into two uh, separate uh, categories. Uh, one is product related qualities and the second, other personality traits, which I will talk later in my slide. Uh, the second criteria I would say is required competencies. Now this could be gained over time with experience and mentorship, but it takes longer time. Now you have to ask question that is your team ready to provide that level of mentorship to the new person. Few examples are technical expertise, industry expertise. Now, product management, as we all know, is essentially a white space role. So it's better to ask that, do you need someone uh, who is a general PM or you need some expert who could get the ground running from, from day one? And that also depend on that, what are the existing competencies in the current task force and what are the gaps. So identifying those gaps would help to hire someone uh, for a longer term company fitment. Now then comes skills and skills could be learned with some reasonable time and effort like tech skills or uh, some certain tools and technology. To be honest, I would not keep that as a top metrics. I would say it's nice to have, uh, but qualities are must have and competencies are should have. Now, how do we screen those, you know, in a candidate, um, especially the product related qualities? Past experience and providing product strategy and design problem, um, I would say is, uh, um, good way of screening a candidate because I have observed that it provides a more clear view 
of how the candidate would be approaching a problem. So there is no right or wrong solution here. It all depends on how the person is approaching the problem. Now, to quote few must have qualities here, let's start with product mi mindset and customer empathy. Um, every product uh, exists because of certain problem we are trying to solve for, for the customer. So it's very essential to identify the right problem. Many a times I see candidates who won't pause on the problem and just you know start uh, solving or providing the solution. And uh, that could only happen like identifying the right uh, problem uh, when the candidate is really, really obsessed with the customer. Uh, other kind of pattern which I observe um, normally is when the candidate just select the first uh, or first thought that comes in his mind and start solutioning it, which I call a tunnel approach. Uh, rather than providing multiple solution, doing trade-offs, calling the risk, and then, you know, um, uh, providing a more holistic view before taking uh, the design approach or digging deeper into a solution. And the third kind of pattern I have observed when candidate talks, uh, straight away talks about the execution model. Uh, now, nothing wrong here, but I would say that that goes more towards the pro project management mindset than, than a product manager. Um, the second uh, essential quality I would say is to be visionary. Once you have the right problem to solve, it also um, is very critical that the person could envision the best solution that could solve that problem. Uh, once the candidate has the solution, the, the right solution in mind and the problem, it, what we require here is a team builder and a collaborator who could then rally everyone behind that goal and solution and collaborate with uh, a different stakeholder, um, execute against, against those goal and deliver the product. So these are the top four, I would say, uh, followed by sense of ownership, which is very essential because we as a product leader are not just responsible for the success of product, but also the success of the team members who we put behind those product and solutions. Um, and I would say this is not an easy journey. Uh, the ride is not going to be easy. You will encounter nights where um, the problem is so vague, it's abstract with no clear, um, clear suggestion or no clear view, but still you have to guide the team through it. You still you have to learn to na navigate through vague problems uh, and be the torch bearer here. The next I would say, if you are in a customer facing product, then uh, carrying good design sense is really essential. And that could be evaluated by providing design problem, how the person is approaching the design, how the person is kind of uh, um, reviewing an existing design or highlighting the problems or coming up with the solution or is open uh, for different ideas um, there. And the last in my list for today is self-evaluation. Now, I have observed very talented and strong product managers uh, struggling through, um, you know, uh, killing or divorcing their initial proposal. And that's that's very essential for, for a product manager to not to get so closely attached to it uh, um, and uh, carry the nerve to kill their own, own proposals at the right time. Um, that I have also observed when, uh, you know, there's, there's a fine line 
there and at times the product manager could could uh, could go and bleed through standing for his or her own his or her ego and that may backfire so i would advise to have a very critical eye on yourself uh, to be successful longer term in term in this role to self evaluate yourself um, at times uh, when you are really attached to a particular product problem or solution now let's talk about other personality traits um, there are people who are more relationship oriented there are people who are more result and outcome oriented um, i would say avoiding the extreme end and carrying some balance is always better but still you see people leaning toward one of this uh these quadrants um uh, what i normally do i try to see what kind of personalities are already there in the team and what are the gaps and try to add people accordingly so that they can create a balance we need people who could glue everyone together we also need people who could uh, execute and you know are aggressive in terms of bringing the result in case of tougher problem and strict delivery lines now let's talk about competencies and skill um they are based on past job related questions and ex uh, exercises uh sometimes we give exercises to see uh where the person stand in terms of the you know the uh, the ask competency or skill and sometimes we just ask what he or she uh, did in past now competencies at times may take precedence depending on how uh, how the industry is shifting and skills again i would say i would bucket it in a nice to have category then a must have qualities i would say um, i uh, the must have um criteria followed by competencies which i could say should have criteria and then skills now let's talk about how one could differentiate himself or herself come up with clear crisp real fast examples that helps a lot and that give us a, a idea about how you would be working with your team how would be you would be approaching the problem where you need some mentorship so uh, come up with real fast examples now there is no right or wrong solution here again the approach matters more uh it's also essential to own it fully own your mistake don't be hesitant to share uh where you you stumble and where you face challenges and what you learn it 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 may be yes you know there there are products which uh failed in past or uh there are scenarios where you felt you could have done differently which is all fine to share now whether a candidate is open to new ideas or not also matters so you could always show your openness and try to think on those lines if the interviewer is suggesting you some other approach and again qualities matter more here so with that i am going to wrap up uh, we covered qualities of a strong pm overview of hiring strategies competencies and skills and how one could uh, differentiate himself and how one should keep a critical eye on certain um qualities uh in in this role so thank you everyone i hope you found it helpful and i will keep uh, talking and posting through uh, through this group thank you product school